Go is a strategic board game for two players that originated in ancient China and it's still actively played today. It's played on a grid board with 19 horizontal and 19 vertical lines, creating a total of 361 intersections. The players, using black stones and also white stones, take turns placing their stones on the intersections with the goal of surrounding territory and capturing the opponent's stones. The game's simplicity and rules is due to its incredible complexity, making it a favorite among enthusiasts of strategy games. Believed to date back at least 2,500 years, Go has a rich and fascinating history steeped in Chinese culture. Originally known as Wei Qi, it gained popularity among Chinese aristocrats during the Zhao Dynasty and later spread to Korea and Japan, where it became known as Baduk and Aigo, respectively. Go has endured through centuries, witnessing various cultural shifts and historical events. Despite its ancient origins, the game continues to captivate players worldwide. There's even professional associations, tournaments, and a dedicated community fostering its growth and development. One of the more intriguing aspects of Go is its deep strategic complexity, despite its straightforward rules. The game offers virtually limitless possibilities for gameplay, with each move influencing the dynamics of the board in profound ways. Unlike many other board games, luck plays no role in Go, making it a pure test of skill and strategic insight. Despite advances in artificial intelligence, top-level Go players still outperform computers, highlighting the depth and sophistication of the game. Beyond its entertainment value, Go has found applications in various fields, including mathematics, psychology, and computer science, cementing its status as a cultural treasure and source of intellectual fascination. These are interesting things with JC.